Hey everybody, Kuzmo's here, back again with Arafel. We are back where we were before we split off, heading down towards the Wasps, riding towards uh, an Herbalist. I did do take a little bit of time to do some leveling, uh, basically just a level for each of them. Uh, Adrian did pick up a new skill called Reflect, which, as you might expect, reflects the next harmful attack back at whoever cast it on it. Uh, well, harmful skill, I believe, is actually the actual wording it used, so... I don't know how useful that will be in the long run, but... It does generally sound like an interesting sort of thing. Oh, we've got a fishing person. Jump in and take the fish off his line. And, okay, I was going to try to get where his line is laying. Watch out for fox wolves and moon cats around here. They're tougher than they look. Yeah, they're not so bad. Alright, so... Danger! A monster with magical powers is turning people to stone to the south. Stay away. Alright, well, before we stumble into it, let us save. And we save on the one with the shortest time. Alright, so Lita can quite easily take down the Mooncat with one charge shot. And the last level up, I cranked Adrian's... Oh, yeah, see, here's his uh, Reflect skill. Anyways, I cranked his attack a bit more, hoping... See, those 36, what is their health? Okay, it's not going to quite take them down. Well, I assume not, but... So it's mech... Oh, no, it does more damage than less, so... A little curious on how that works out. Let's get her a bit more agility... Some more of this. And one each of these. I don't want to let her defense lag behind too much. And I don't want her to just uh, go down in literally zero time. Okay, let's save again. We're going to save in the same lunch because we only done a little. But just in case I die, I don't want to lose that bit of level. Anything here I can get to? Uh, that would seem to be a no. But worth a try, right? And... Okay, try to go in that way. Looks like a very lifelike statue. Quest added, second stone curse. Got herself some cotton, so I can't get anywhere else from here. Right now. I wonder, like, I guess I'm supposed to come from that, at that from another direction. I'm not super certain. So we'll keep an, I'm going to have to be a path to the right. That's a tree. I'm not really certain where we would uh, connect to that. Okay, some crystal. Probably want to look and see if I can upgrade anything. Not quite. And she's not... No, she's one on everything. We've just got our first cotton. So, what is he... Okay, needs like three more for that. Can I upgrade this with the silver and get right? We saw that before. And just trying to take a second look, see if there's any flashing to the right. And can I do anything with the boat? I feel like I should be able to. But I cannot. I saw something purple. That was... Was that flashing up here? I swear I saw the purple flashing. Castletana, Ceramai Plains. So we're going to explore around a little bit first. Like this fish. It'd be a little tricky at times to catch up with a fish, but it's not terrible. Alright, so I can swim down this way and get on this bridge. I don't know if there's any advantage either way, but... Nothing seems spectacular. So, what is up here? 
Oh, it's Castle Tana, and I see gold? Oh, right. I always think the Stardust is gold. Every time, I will continue to do so. Except this one, I'm pretty certain this is Magical Stardust. But only because I had literally just gotten one that I thought was gold. Let's see what's this way. We'll uh, check out down below after a bit. Ooh, quarry. I like the sound of that. 47 coins. Lovely. Now we need three crystal. So that puts us to two. Or needing two, rather. Uh, these were a thing that was good. I forget what. Essence Earth. Right. A lot of sparklies up there, and ooh, another fish. Okay, that's not the way to go. Alright, so apparently we need to come back at this from another direction. Wait, was there anything on the opposite side? Ah, uh, it doesn't look that way. Okay. So we'll... Hop off down here because I'm a. Oh, well, dang it. Just trying not to have to walk through the water too much, just because it's kind of slow. So let's see what's in here. Hi, are you here to buy something? Mom's got all the potions and stuff. Nice little jaunty tune. Ooh. Ah, springs teleport. All right. Good day to you, child. Be careful if you travel to the southern reaches of the spring. To the southwest live horrible, stinging insects, which we found in the last episode. And to the southeast, they say, lives a terrible beast, which we did not find, but we found the area it's supposed to be in. Herbs can be hard to come by, but the rare ones are around if you know where to look. And we have, in fact, found uh, quite a few. Now, I do wonder if, like, I don't see anything here we can steal, so that's a shame. Good day to you, young lady. Welcome to my apothecary. Can I get you anything? Um. Yeah, let's uh, learn to make tier 2 potions, right? And ingredients, yes. Dawnflower, huh? And a sort of dust. Do I want that? You know, I feel like I've got a fair bit of money, so... I want to grab that while I'm here. And that's just the other little door. Okay. Alright, we already came down here before we went inside. And this is... Apple Orchards. Okay. Need some coins, right? Ranger Guild advertisement. Let's pick this. And. Err, it won't budge. Okay. Presumably at some point in time in the future, it will in fact budge. Oh, gimme, gimme. Two crystals, that is an upgrade for Adrian. Gotta wonder how his heavy tunic is. It looks like stones thrown into water. Ooh. I mean, I guess it'd go up to. So basically, it's just wearing the crystals now? I mean, I guess that works. And. A little more earth essence. Excellent. I assume I need for that something. That for something in the future. Grab that. Avoid a fight by virtue of picking plants. Ooh, stone quarry, eh? Ooh. I don't know if I need crystal for future upgrades. I didn't really pay attention, but... I am not going to complain about this. I didn't really mean to dive in. But sure, I guess. 
Okay, bats are super easy. I'll fight them if they manage to get to me, but otherwise I'm not going to worry about it. We can go down to the water. I wonder if she can kill multiple of these. Ah, uh, not quite. Well, I imagine Whirlwind will finish him off. And yes, it will. That is just... Yeah, that's why I didn't want to bother fighting them at such a minuscule amount of XP. It's not really worth the time, though here we do have more crystal to mine up. Okay, I want to take a look-see. Do we... Okay, we still need crystal for the next rank of his, at least. And hers. Excellent. But we're not really close to getting any other upgrades. Ooh, a chest. I like chests. Ooh, and plants. Apparently I get more excited about the plants. Oh, it's flax, which I'm not sure if we need anymore. Ooh, Relic Arrowhead. I mean, that does strongly suggest it is for her, right? I mean, well, everybody gets advantage of it, so. All party members, 2%, plus 2% damage. Ooh. And she's doing around 100 with her power attack, so that's got extra 20 damage. And he does, like, 50 with Whirlwind, so that's an extra 10. That's may well be enough to make the difference in killing some things, so that's pretty nice. Alright, anything up here? We do have a chest. And more of this. Alright. Now, if we cross back over that bridge, it would take us somewhere, but... No point, we can get into it from this side. Um... I don't see anything here, so... I mean, other than water to play in. Alrighty then, yeah, let's hit the uh, Poison Snake, the slightly weaker one, I guess. Yeah. It's good as we can just kill it with one shot. Oh yeah, nice damage on that. I haven't used his power attack since I upgraded his uh, attack power. So, that's lovely. It's uh, comparable damage to what she does. So that is good to know. And another Earth Essence. I believe those are... Oh, I didn't... Wait, did I go down there? I guess I did, because there's nothing down there. All right, well, we're probably going to have to fight these snakes. And I uh, really wanted to one-hit it. Ah, we're going to crit there, and she finishes him off. Excellent. Right. And... Let's just see what his normal attack does, just out of curiosity. 37, not bad. Alright, so we have a fair bit of crystal for a little while. Uh, did I go up here? I apparently did not. Hundred coins and more crystal. We've got a positive boatload of crystal, so that's good. This looks like a path. It is not. But that is some lovely flax. Oh, I can't cut through there. Disappointing. Okay, this sure leads path. What is it? Stone quarry hunting range so far. Ooh, okay, so let's finish. Looks like we almost have this all clear. Didn't actually mean to do that. But we shall charge shot. There we go, about 20 extra damage. Oh yeah, he's hitting the 100 with the extra 20%, so that's fine. You know, usually your damage dealers don't do quite the same damage that uh, 
or your defensive people don't do the damage that the big damage dealers do. Now I'm assuming, however, Whirlwind will finish them off for certain now. Excellent. What is this way? Uh, Apple Origins. Let's pop down here first. Oh, did not go quite the path I thought you were. More fish oil. Ooh, and a chest. So we shall pop over here. And on down this way. Going to save. You shall remember to alternate. Okay, well. Let's just say I have reason to not want to talk to these people. That's not where that is. Uh, this is the second bounty, and I am quite certain I am no way ready for it. With you, Bissar, you get out of here. Eh, yeah, tried to see if I could sneak past. Uh, they will absolutely murder me. We'll try it again later when I'm at least think there's a chance it can not kill us. Okay, here's the orchards. Don't know if there's anything exceptionally interesting to us here, but. We shall creep around and take a look. Actually, aren't the oh yes. Okay, I know what's in the orchards. Okay, let's Ooh. Cloud Rose, you say. Very curious, because there's points like that where there's a little little spaces that uh, you can get to but you can't see. I wonder if they'll ever hide uh, treasure in those. The boss is guarding this place, making sure nobody but whoever he approves can get in. Thing is, the entire entryway is half halfway collapsed. It won't be easy to find someone small enough to fit. Sorry kid, the owner of the apple orchards has this place blocked off. Well, that's uh, an obvious hint. We need to find the owner of the actual or apple orchards. Good lord. So that's where we came in? Yeah? Yeah, okay. And we've got some stuff down here. Ooh, 500 coins. That's pretty nice, actually. Did I see sparkles over here? I thought I did. Alright, pump for here and grab the fish. Ooh. Do oil from that one. And a bronze ingot. I think we... I don't know if we need any more of those. Like, I'm not really certain, like, how reused some of the components are. Ever been to Orleans Village? It's below the highlands and doesn't get a lot of sun. It's freezing cold there. Can I talk to this person? No, I cannot. The vampire's been attacking in bigger groups than normal. I've heard Lady Miranda wants to attack. Yeah, she's probably secretly in control of the vampires. And she's actually going to try to get her army, you know, to work for the vampires instead of against. That is my assumption. Didn't mean to walk through the water there. Oh, can't go down that way. Alright, so we head up... Nope, not up here. Talk to the bird. I don't know, maybe we could randomly catch it. Keep seeing these caves that are blocked off like this. I wonder... I mean, she doesn't talk about it, so... Makes me think you're probably not going to be able to do anything with it later. Usually, that kind of thing in these games, you can interact with it even beforehand. So, that makes me strongly suspect that it's not the case. Stand on the blood forest, girl, I'm warning you. Vampires set traps all the time to catch people one too far, drink their blood, yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to the boss if you have business here. Guarding apples all day really makes a man wonder if he's let his life get away from him. 
Well, it doesn't seem that bad. I mean, especially since your guarding is just sitting inside. I mean, I guess maybe you're off duty or whatever. Could it could it be true that the vampires are going to stage an all-out war on us? If you're not here to pick apples, try going to the owner's office up to the northwest. The boss is always looking to hire people for odd jobs. Get on my way, lady. Come on, let's go up there. We've got a quota to meet. And yeah, I'm still trying to talk to people on trees because of the one time we were able to. Blood Forest is just north of here. That place really gives me the creeps. Get out of the way, lady. I'm trying to talk to the kid. You'll turn into a vampire if you get bitten by one and live. Then you'll get exiled. Ooh, crystal. Thank you very much. The boss is real nice. He lets the kids steal an apple once in a while. I wonder if I could get away with that. Yep, just popping in to see if there's any crafts. I'm, I think I've said it before, but I so love the little plus sign that appears. No way I can just pop in and I'm good to know if I can or not. D did not see you on my way in. If you're looking for something to do, the boss is always hiring people to run errands for him. Okay. Nice air, huh? Yeah, you know you love it. Watch your manners around the boss, kid. Hello, young lady. I'm afraid I have too much paperwork to do to chat at the moment. Speak with Mr. Carver if you need anything. First, we're going to speak with this. Alright. Eh, it's a rule guards don't have anything interesting to say. Especially not apple guards. Get lost is what I'm saying. Take this necklace. Um, what? I found it in the Saramai Plains and thought it was worth something. It's not. Do you want it? Sure. Could always use more necklaces. Wonderful. Here. She used an ancient necklace. It's an old moon and sword pendant on a tarnished bronze chain. The moon and sword were once... The moon and sword was once the symbol of the tribe that lived in the Saramai Pl Plains. Now get away from me. Hello, young lady. Hmm, you look like a bit of an adventurer. I don't suppose you could lend me a hand. Sure. Depends on what you're asking and what you're offering. Simple task with a fair reward, I'd wager. Have you seen the ruins just north of these orchards? If you head east to the central islands here and take the bridge north, you'll find a tower. There's an old tale of a magical crystal in there that increases fertility. Although if this fertility affects either flora or fauna or both, the story doesn't say. At any rate, the exit has collapsed and I need someone small enough to fit through the opening. Someone like you. Interested? Sounds fun. Always up for exploring scary things like towers no one else can get into. Let's do it. Excellent. Let the soldiers know that I've given you permission to enter and return to me with what you find. Alright, so which one of you... Do you both say the same thing? Watch your banners around the boss, kid. Okay. So, let us make our way back. It's a slightly long walk, but... Oh, can't go that way. But not too bad to do as we've ran. Though, I mean, I guess she is kind of running. I mean, it's weird if she normally went slower and there was a button you could press to go this speed. I would probably be perfectly happy with it. Sorry, kid. The owner of the orchard has a place blocked off. Actually, he asked me to have a look around. He said the entrance was too small for you guys. Yeah, there was a collapse at some point and the one got crushed. Looks like the rest of it held up pretty well, so we think might be safe. Have a look, but be careful. No one's been in there for a real long time. There's some nasty things that like to hold in places like this. Boom. Okay. Let us save. Because going to a dark, falling apart ruin. Can I get back there? I don't think so. love the music. Just a little nice not to in your face about things. Ooh. Water essence. Water essence. Just seems strange. Are you sure you want to open it? No. I want to save. And then open it. 
And it's a mimic. Healing down. Okay, let us scout it first. And it poisons us. Lovely. Uh, you know what? I don't think I want to taunt it. Uh, the amount of health that it has worries me a little bit. Okay, so I feel like maybe I want to take that potion down. Oof, duh. And then have her heal. So that gave him regen, is that right? Oh, well, she just went down. Um, so let's escape. Injury occurs when a character loses all their HP and will randomly decrease some of their stats like dex or defense and power. Or, or power, rather. Injury can be treated by resting in an inn or utilizing the restorative magic of Talani the Traveling Merchant. Okay. Yikes, that thing was scary. Kind of like how it kind of made us automatically run out. Now, I could reload, but... Eh. It's not that big of a worry. Besides, all I need to do... I'm really curious as to what's in that chest. I will, however, just have to remember to come back. Uh, but what I think I can do is just uh, teleport back to the home village because there's a crystal right in uh, the boss's place where I'm going, so that should not be that much of a problem. And next, I well, I think this will probably be in the next episode by looking at the time. But after that, we'll get back to exploring a little bit. And eventually on to the actual Ceramine Plains. I should actually turn this in before I teleport, though. You've returned. Were you successful? There were a few surprises, but we did get the crystal. Ah, so the legends were true after all. Now then, I wonder if the magic is also real. You performed admirably, and I thank you for it. Here's your reward. Ooh. Alright, let's take that up. Utility's pretty nice. You know, I think I want to bring this up a bit more. I don't mind just kind of cranking that. Let's get him, you know what? Let's get him to 50 there. A little bit more here. 18. It's two there and one here. All right, that seems pretty good. Now, we didn't have any crafting. We do got a lot of these flasks, which uh, increases... Okay. So these are basically just attack potions and buff potions. Ooh. MP is lovely. Oh, you know what? I'm going to make one of these. That seems great. And I don't... Need to want to worry about those for the moment. Again, alternating save spots. And let's try this out for the first time. Okay, we're back here. Let me out. Now what I'm assuming I can do is go and rest in my own bed. And I'm assuming that will take care of my entries. Also, the merchant's not here anymore. So we will give this a try. I cannot apparent. Wait, is that my bed or is this my bed? Okay, a little disappointing. Like, I mean, like flavor-wise, it's kind of disappointing because you know you can't sleep in your own bed, but. Balance-wise, since it's right by a teleport, it'd probably be a little too easy. Hello, Lita. Need a night away from your own bed? Heal injuries. Thank you very much. Did that cost me? Is that free? I assume they'll tell me if it costs, right? What can I buy from you? The last time I was here, I didn't have that much away money, and, uh... You know, there's an argument you made, presumably, for uh, making and selling potions. Don't think it's... it's probably not worth it. Alright, however, I do believe that will do for now. Um, 
for the next episode, we'll teleport to one of the teleport locations. I'm not sure which, and I might browse the bazaar, see if there's anything else I want to buy, see if anything I can buy that will allow me to do upgrades. But I'll be somewhere, I keep saying that I start my planes, somewhere out in the, one of our teleports uh, to see what we can do for the next episode. But uh, until next time, catch you later.